reports about hacking and all sorts right. of things. Right. So that's that's part of the issue. It's price manipulation. It's right. hacking. It's counterparty risk. Right. And what's fascinating to me is when we had the launch of Bitcoin futures late last right. year, there was all this enthusiasm that it would become more institutional, more acceptable on Wall Street. And we do get dribs and drabs of news from the likes of Goldman Sachs, et cetera, that they're getting more into the business. But then you get these big setbacks right. as well Absolutely. that show it's not really becoming more institutional. And, and we should note that while the price of Bitcoin did go down pretty dramatically when the Winklevi yeah. were you know, not allowed to do their uh, ETF, price didn't move that much. So right. there's not a lot of surprise. That they're this getting, is, used, to yeah. okay. getting used to it. So, yeah, it's unfortunate um, that we have this failure, but I do feel like there is a silver lining and you should be positive about it because um, they did mention that a lot of big names are working on this and it's not something that's going to happen overnight. And uh, if you've been following the channel, my prediction was that we would get this ETF by the end of the year, um, which can still happen. I still feel like there is a possibility we can get news in October, November, or December that will hopefully be more positive and that's what will basically spur the bull market but if it is pushed back to 2019 it's not a problem i'm buying these crypto assets as the market cap continues to dip and going in with a mindset that i'm going to be holding it for more than a year or so um, but the big names you know goldman sachs the winkle voss twins um, that's what keeps me confident in crypto because these people are very smart they have a lot of money and they would not be putting all this time and energy uh, fighting with regulators to try to get this you know, regulation cleared out if they didn't think there's a future. So uh, the main thing you, I want to tell my audience is to not panic, and there's no reason to sell your crypto assets at the bottom of the market. Um, so if you can, if you're an owner of cryptocurrencies, just be patient. If you really do feel like you need a fire sell, uh, you should do it once the market cap has at least gone up a little bit more. But, uh, you know, I can't tell everyone what to do, so you're free to do what you want to do. But I do see a recovery. And if you look at this year long chart, uh, I do see us regaining the $20,000 uh, $20, Bitcoin and surpassing that easily um, as long as these regulations are passed. And it might be next year, but if possible, we might still see a $20,000 Bitcoin by the end of the year. But. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe I'm being a little too optimistic and I will talk to you guys soon.